Hey girl lads and fairies and welcome back to another video. I am so excited for this one because this is the best product I have ever found. It holds just like lace glue and it is super safe for your edges. You can now apply it to your scalp and them edges boo boo. I'll also show you guys how to define and get these juicy curls like you guys see here with a new technique and method that of course your girl has came up with yet again. Her usual thank y'all so much for coming back if you guys are new welcome to my channel make sure you guys like subscribe and comment down below how you guys are feeling my videos lately also make sure you guys follow me on all my social media networks facebook tiktok instagram your girl i will be back to social media in march girl i will drop down below in the timestamps as well as the video all of the different places you guys can jump to if you are just in a hurry or just got something to do. This video is sponsored by IDN Hair. This is a Larasia Andrea collab. Come on, son. Collabs all 2023, period. This wig is a twisted curly type of curl. I wanted to bring something super different with this collaboration, as well as a 13 by six scalp knot frontal. And this is a full frontal. So you guys will get the six inch parting from ear to ear. So these are, 3B edges. I have been working with this company for pretty much a couple of months because I am working with a ton of companies giving y'all these natural hairlines. Once I put out my first natural hairline video, oh my gosh, the internet went crazy. YouTube went crazy. This is all y'all are seeing on YouTube when it comes to wigs. And I am so happy because I am getting somewhere with this hair community, okay? I've been seeing ventilated hairlines on the more natural side on the internet but I have never really seen it on YouTube so I'm just like listen this needs to be brought to everyone's attention that this is possible and you can actually do this with wigs and also we need to cater to our African-American black culture okay if y'all gonna be trying to use our hair types and our type of hair y'all about to have something for us period so I just went ahead and just cut the hairline to my liking I did cut pretty much all the edges off the front but I did leave the sides my sole mission is to get my hairline on this wig to look just like my hairline in real life. So we are gonna do a little bit of baby hair, but not too much. And listen, this is the holding gel from Eben. Y'all haven't seen me use Eben products for like over a year now. And every single time y'all see these videos, they are not sponsored. They are bought with my own money. They're my own opinion. They're my own experience. They're just me. The thing that I love about this holding gel is that it holds just like lace glue. I am I'm not really the one that likes to use lace glue one because I change my wigs every single time like literally all the time and number two I like to be able to put a wig on for the day and take it off at night so because that is my lifestyle as well as I work out four days a week wigs are just not meant to stay on my head they're just not this holding gel is so strong I could not believe it this was my first time using it and I love the fact that it comes in a nozzle type of bottle because I don't know it's just something about like the got to be in like those type of two bottles is just not really applicable okay for wigs so I do like that this is a nozzle and I just put that on with an applicator brush you can use your fingers but I'm just letting y'all know this is mad sticky so I just put it around my hairline and then I pushed it back with the gel this is safe on your edges I know with lace glue you cannot put that lace glue on your edges you will not have any edges okay and this this is pretty much like a got to be formula just on Hulk version. It holds just like a ghost bond, a bold hold, a Erica J, any type of like that super bomb lace glue and y'all love that hold, you're gonna get the same type of thing from this product. And no lie, I love the fact that I did this on a video for the first time because listen, words cannot say how tight this hold is. Look at my eyes, bruh, look at my eyes. The hold is pretty tight, but it's not super taunt, if that makes any sense. So before I tie my wig down, I'm just gonna use this Eben, also another Eben product, this Eben melting spray. I have a video, it's kinda going viral just a little bit. Make sure y'all check that video out because listen, this is another star product from Eben, also brought with my own money, also not sponsored. This is pretty much like your cherry to your cocktail, your syrup to your 
pancakes. This is that. It's going to give you that super melted look. You guys have seen me use another spray from Go Glueless. And this is pretty much like that Go Glueless spray. It's like the last touch you need to melt that lace in even further. And I just put that all around my hairline. And then in any areas where I feel like I need to lift it up, this just shows how easy it is to lift off my scalp. It is not super attached, but it's attached. To do my baby hers and to get it as natural and realistic as possible, I'm gonna use this Pattern Beauty Stronghold Styling Gel to put around my lace hairline and do little swoops. It's not gonna be like uniform swoops, just kind of however my hand chooses to flow is where I'm gonna go. And if you guys didn't notice, I am not wearing a ball cap. I do have a scalp tape video out, so go ahead and check that one out too. In that video, I show y'all how to to get your wig to look as realistic as possible using a tape instead of a ball cap. But the finishing touch on that ball cap look, I'm just gonna use some lace wig powder and put that on the little small knots that you guys see. This wig does come pre-bleached, but y'all know me, I'm a little bit extra. So just go ahead and put some foundation powder on those knots and just blend that in. And then I'm gonna let this melt. I do use these black strips. I have an entire video on these on my Amazon video from Black Friday. Make sure you guys go and check that video out. And I'm also gonna use the IDN Hair Elastic Band to melt that lace down even further. So now it's time to define this hair and I'm gonna use some water and also take this Garnier Fruities leave-in conditioner and put that inside the water bottle and shake, shake, shake it up until it's like a milky kind of look like this. And then I'm also going to take some My L Curling Mousse. This is my favorite curling mousse. I use this in my hair as well, like my natural hair. And these are gonna be our star cocktails for those juicy, shiny, bouncy, not hard hard curls. I'm gonna use that leave-in spray mixture that we just mixed up and spray that in the hair first. This is also a dimming brush that I got from Amazon. I think it's from like China. I don't know y'all, but it's like my favorite dimming brush ever. It gets these curls so defined and so non-uniform, but kind of uniform, but it just literally alternates the curls as a whole. Everything that I'm talking about, I will make sure I link it down below from Amazon. So I just pretty much did that same cocktail technique. I put that leave in first and then I did the curling mousse right after and just did both of those products all over my hair and let it air dry. This is the hair, probably about 30% dry. I just went ahead and let it air dry as I was doing my makeup. Y'all see this hairline? Do you see it? This is my hairline, okay? This is mine. Now, these are 3D scalp knots and they are basically meant to have your lace look just like your real scalp, as if this is not a wig, this is your hair. But per usual, because I'm just super extra, I did go in with some tweezers and plucked any hairs that I felt like was inside of my part to just make it look real crisp. Then I took my hot comb and I went a little bit like a millimeter into my parting. I didn't want to have it go too far because I think that just makes the wig look super fake. And I also took it to the front and kind of upward curled the front of the wig because I just don't really like hair in my face like that. And this little flip method with the hot comb just makes it so that the wig falls directly in your face, but just not on your forehead. 
I am going to be diffusing this hair today, but before I do that, I'm just going to take my fingers slash nail and just lightly go through every single strand and kind of separate it with my fingers. You want to make sure that you are being very delicate with this method because you do not want to create any frizz. But because the products that I use are perfect for anti-frizz, that was not the case in this situation. So I just went through every single section and just separated the curls and it's creating that body that I really want. Also, before I diffuse the hair, I just wanted to even out the curls a little bit. I could have kept it all kind of like a staggered length, but I felt like cutting the ends would just make the ends look a lot more full and just the hair look full in general. And I just wanted to let y'all know, even though I did cut the ends super bluntly, it did not alter the ends of the hair at all. I know this is usually not the case with curly hair, but listen, y'all, this is a different type of curly wig, okay? I also wanted to create like a bangy kind of layered look in the front so I just took a section and probably went like a few inches lower than my chin and cut some bangs and just to give those ends a more bouncy look I want to take a little bit more of that Mayel curl mousse and just wrap my finger around the ends and once I get it to my liking I'm going to take my diffuser blow dryer I got this from Amazon it's from Revlon the blow dryer is on low heat and I'm just going all around around my head and just pushing that hair up. This creates body, this creates volume, and also it's just defining the ends of my curls even more. And this is the finished look, you guys. This hairline is so popping. I'm so happy with the 3B edges. I feel like the 3B edges are definitely my favorite thus far. And we're gonna be coming out with so many different curly hair textures. I am so excited for this. Thank you so much, ID and Hair, again, for collaborating with me, Larisha Andrea, myself. This hair texture is so popping. I am so happy with it. And listen, go out and get this even holding gel y'all this is not a sponsored video yet again but you are not going to be unhappy with the results from this gel this is the end of the video you guys can't wait to see you guys in my next one like always and bye guys Call me Bucky New, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he find a hood, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how he fuck a bunch of b but they still respect the women? He's a rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stabby in the back, and that can never be forgiven. And my pride been itching, man. I like the superstition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low bummy, me, my girl is still a big ass. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. When I get, when I get, when I get high, I meditate, then I celebrate, trying to get the.